We're going to have to go with uh, Minnesota Code. Okay. Uh, high def. Yep. It ain't that I can't stop. It's that I won't stop. I made a few plays off a of flip. Now I'm on top. I'm Southside Chief, homie. Yeah. What you know about it? Lake Street Legend CEO, not the co founder. What you wanna know about me? I'm so cursed up. I'm the last man standing, but I went first up. Most hated, they don't say it when I roll up. The things that people say about me, they don't say close up. Check it. I ain't been to the booth in a minute. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning. Who makes him the chief of the South Side? Oh, my nigga, I'm not a lieutenant. When I was in the gym, you wasn't in it. Face off to my windows is tinted. If I said that shit, then I meant it. Niggas gave me the rules and I bent it. Yeah, you did. did. All right, man. Another episode of Minnesota's number one daily show. Special guest in the building. Number one daily show live on Lake Street. Excuse me. It's been a long day. We got a special guest in the building, man. Someone, Another person I've been wanting to talk to for a long time. We got Stu up in the building. Yes, sir. Welcome, man. So, I mean, you're one of, and I'll let you talk your shit for yourself, but you're one of the best videographers we have in Minnesota. You can say you're the best if you want to. <laughs> no, I, I say I'm the best, but I'm not going to, like... That's like a self-confidence thing. Like, yeah. I'm not going to down nobody or none of that shit. Like, it's a lot of people that put in work out here. I'm not going to lie. Like, a lot of dudes. I ain't really going to say no names, but it's a lot of dudes that put in work behind the scenes. That's You know, that's been yeah. doing it and all of that For shit. For sure. And that's coming up right now, too. It's a lot of dudes that's coming up, too. I can't personally pop shit for any videographers because I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like, I can't determine who is or isn't the best because I don't, it's not my... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all go ahead. Hey. He wants you to have the drink, huh? <laughs> All right, but... Um, but, yeah, I just... I don't I don't know enough about... I don't know enough about... I could speak on accolades, who's the best when it comes to, like, who's done the most accolades, but... What, how do you feel about your own like personal accolades stacked up against other videographers? Accolades, I feel like, I feel like I've done a lot of personal accolades. You know, like shit that I never thought I'd do. Like mm. compared to, you know, everybody's done a lot of accolades, but I, you know, I feel like I'm the best in my own the way that I do it. You yes. know, like everybody do their own type of videos. I feel like, but That's I feel a good like way the way. That's a good I, way to say it. I feel like the way that I do what I'm trying to do. Yeah is the best, but I still feel like I ain't reached my potential, my potential on what I'm trying to do. Yeah. So, how long have you been shooting? Uh, It's been like four years. Like really? Four only, years four, now. only four? Yeah, only four years. I started from like literally scratch, from scratch on this shit. Damn, I feel like you've been doing this for so much longer. No, it's only been like four years. It's wow. going on four years. It's not, not going on four years. It's four years going on five years type okay. shit. Okay. But what, I've only been doing it for years. Was this always the, what you wanted to do? Or did you have, did it, where did it start? Photography? I feel like it usually starts with photography. No, nah, it really, like, honestly, like, I tell everybody, like, the, the the way it started is crazy. Like, my homie Rizzy, RIP. Yeah. We was at a, a barbecue. We was all having a barbecue. And we were waiting on a, a videographer to pull up. I think it was, like, dog food or he didn't send a de- deposit or something. And Rizzy, like, all right, I need somebody to shoot my shit. But for some reason, I'm like, I'll do it. But Rizzy, like, hell no. Nah. He like, I need somebody that got subscribers that know what they doing. Uh, but I just knew that I knew what it took to do this shit. You yeah. know, like, I always had the vision for it, but I just never applied myself to doing that shit. So you hadn't really handled a camera before that, though? Nope. The first time I handled a, a camera, like, for real, was when Daddy De Niro was shooting that uh, 1-800-ass video with dog food. Like, I was in the background just like taking pictures and like literally learning how to use a fucking camera. Like I was like learning how to do that shit during that video. And so prior to that, you hadn't really, it wasn't really a thought for you? I mean, what were you, like what were you doing before that? Shit, before that, I ain't gonna stand, I had a job. I was working a job for years and shit, but then some shit happened up there. I ended up suing them. And oh, then, uh, so then I was sitting back for some years, just like, I was literally just sitting on my ass, just chilling. So at what, point, at what point did Stuart visuals become the vision? Uh, that barbecue, really. That was it right there. Yeah, that barbecue. And it was just like, 
I don't like being told that I can't do something. Really. Mm. You know, like so once somebody feel like they they doubt me a little bit, and I don't feel like Rizzy doubted me, but he was like, you know, he had he knew what he wanted. You yeah. know, so I knew that it just took time. Even Daddy De Niro, Romar, when I first started, he wasn't shooting with me. He told me like, you know, you gotta get it going first type shit. I gotta see what you can do before, you know, I actually shoot with you. And then all of that just now you shot his best videos. My personal opinion. Yeah, I, I feel like that too. I don't mean that. In, I don't mean that in any disrespect Which to anybody else. Cause I know he's worked with dog food. He's worked with who else has he even worked with? Uh, he worked with Reed. Reed, Daddy. Fat oh yeah, Chops. Uh, Reed Bauman. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, he yep, worked Daddy with Fat him. Chops. Yeah, hey, Reed. Yeah. What video are you talking about though? Uh, what was it? The bitch I'm a dog video. Oh yeah, that was. I love that. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, that was crazy. He came up with that concept, and we just executed. What I was guess. the other one? Uh. The dad video. Dad video. There's one. Now, my fa- it's probably my favorite song of his. See, now I'm going to feel stupid if you didn't shoot the video. It was on the last project he ever released. Was it? Oh, the, uh. He was Yeah, d- I did shoot driving, that. Uh, yeah, the, uh. I forgot the name. I did shoot that. You know what I'm though. talking about, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Is it called Riding Around or something? Driving around, they, driving. He something? said they're gonna be pulling up like a yo yo. He yeah. said something I forgot. The That's name my of the favorite song shit. That's shit. one of my favorite songs of his. No, yeah, and I love that. No, video. I love that song. You could see the growth in his shit. That For sure, what he doing. Bro, I don't want to make this the Daddy De Niro podcast, but he's. If we're talking like personal, my personal opinion, he's in my personal top five Minnesota artists ever. Like my personal top five. I'm not gonna say he's like the most talented or like the Rushmore or whatever, but just personally, the world is better when Daenerys making music. No, I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. So, for sure. as your relate, how's your relationship with him now? Still good? Still solid? Yeah, that's that's my brother to that's like like forever. Like he can't do no wrong with me for real. Um, do you are you able to get in his ear ever? Be like, hey, yeah, I could get it this time. What this time to make music? No, no, not the interview to make music. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. He really caught up in his dad life, you know, so, and he just started, uh, I think he started to do uh, mixing and mastering for people and stuff like that, so I, I think he might. He's been doing that for a while, though. Yeah, right? he could do, like, yeah. I ain't gonna start, he one of them, he one of them niggas that's like, yeah. code at, like, whatever, you know, like, yeah. like, that's how I feel about me, like, if I put my mind to it, mm-hmm. I know I can be good at it, just yeah. like putting your, you know, putting your foot down and getting to it. So, on that note, where were you during the free Wi-Fi era? Were you right there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so from your perspective, can you tell me like what happened? What why did that why did that fall apart the way that it did? Uh I don't know. Honestly. Honestly, I don't know. I just feel like it was just like a group getting together and they didn't they didn't necessarily have too much background together, you know? So yeah, it's like, know each other that way. yeah, you know, so like when you got real chemistry and real bond with real homies that you, you know, you grew up with, it's a little different. But when you, you know, you're trying to do something off of business or money or just, re- you know, certain relationships, building certain relationships, it might not work out, you know, it could have yeah. worked out. And I know, I know Plaza and Romar are still pretty cool. I don't know. And they about, did they uh, they became friends for that, right? Like they weren't yeah. really close before that, but they became close. Yeah, they came. That. Yeah, they became real. Like, I think they were cool before that a little bit, but they became like real homies yeah. once that that happened. And that like, like Plaza and Romar, they still cool to this yeah. day. I know for sure. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how you feel about that whole situation, but I feel like, I feel like we had that was the first time I had personally seen some like serious motion from Minnesota. Some ser- like it felt like nationally we were about to be recognized for them. I feel like it's a lot. Yeah, I, f- I feel that, but I feel like it's a lot of people that you can get, you know, nationally recognition for. Like even Vez, like I swear Vezo, he's yeah. from Minnesota. And, Is he, you know, he's, he's from Minnesota? He's from Minnesota. See, I always question. I always wondered that if he was actually from Minnesota or if like he just spent time here or what. But he's no, he from no, nah, he really from Minnesota. You know, so he just moved to Detroit and. You know, rep Detroit because you know that's where a lot of shit happened to so him. And caught, shit, but caught like, fire in, in Detroit. Yep, caught fire in Detroit. Interesting. Well, there's confirmation right there. Then. But then you gotta remember it's Prince and shit too. You know, that's national recognition for sure. But for sure, 
You know, uh, Nemic Revenue. She, you know, she was signed to Def Jam. It's a lot. It's a lot of people. No, I feel you on that. Like the the free Wi Fi, they was. It, it was. I don't know how to, else to like put it, but like, th- it felt like there was like this core of artists at that time in Minnesota, rappers specifically, hip hop artists. There was like this mass. You probably and you probably know what I'm talking about because you were there for it all. But like, it was like them, and then there was like Lyric Marid, um. Who else? Like you remember, like Saeed Brown. Mm-hmm. There was like this core of like really talented artists. No, you. Yeah. And they were three of them. The Rift was one of them as well. Mm-hmm. And it felt like that core was on the brink of just getting this like major recognition. And then I was in the middle. I was in the middle of recording a podcast, and all of a sudden it came across my timeline. Yeah, Jay Plaza just <laughs> just set fire to the whole thing <laughs> we we stopped the podcast listened to the whole thing came back and talked about it and then you talking about the split or uh, when plaza when plaza dropped the diss track i, I know there was track. more that went into it before that but when plaza dropped the diss oh you track, talking about him and the riff yeah they, yeah they diss track yeah that, yeah that was funny i ain't gonna stop that was funny <laughs> it was funny it was great <laughs> no yeah that was good it was, was great good. i wish we could have used that to catapult it even more mm. so you were there through all that though Yep, I was with Romar through all of that. Romar, my brother. Did you I shoot? fuck with Plaza and shit too. Did you shoot any of their videos? You didn't, right? Uh, nope, not no free Wi-Fi. I wasn't even shooting like through that era. I wasn't even shooting. So that was really I started. Good. Yeah, I pretty much started that was before you were shooting. Yeah, it was before I was shooting pretty much, like for the most part. Why did I think like you've been? I feel, I thought you'd been shooting for like ten years. <laughs> that's a good thing though. I yeah, feel like nah, if I think real. that, that's a really good nah, thing. No, yeah. I feel like I gotta get better though. I gotta like that's my main thing with me is getting better every day with my videos, you know. But sometimes I ain't gonna stunt it's, it's hard to learn every day when you just like caught in the grind type shit. You know, like yeah. when I first started, I started off of YouTube, you know. So I'm watching YouTube videos every day on how to edit, how to get shots, how to create shots. But once you get going, it's hard to do that every day still. For sure. that go, And I think that goes with anything. Mm-hmm. Um, who were some videographers that you kind of looked up to that inspired you to do this? From here or sure. like? Anyway, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah we big are. time, it was like, I don't know. Like when I first started, like that was big to me was like who was shooting like all the ASAP Rocky videos. You okay. know, like, and it was like that AUG era that he had yep. that was like AUG videos, yep. Lyrical Lemonade. Shit. Uh, what about here? I mean, we got some dogs here. Here, here. I was watching, obviously, like Dog Food, Minnesota Code, mm-hmm. uh, Go to Elite Elite Productions, uh, twenty. What was it? Twenty three films. Twenty three. Tw- uh, uh, twenty. How the fuck? Thirteen twenty three. Yeah, thirteen twenty three. On oh, God, I yeah. don't know why I fucked yeah, up. 13, but that was, yeah. It was like even even like High Def. I know High Def get a bad name with everybody and shit. But I was watching his shit with Sosa and all. Like I was watching everything, just like not really knowing who the fuck they was anyway. You yeah. know, like I'm watching it, but I'm watching it on my own behalf. Like I didn't care about who the videographer was. I'm just, you You're know, might be tapping video. into yeah. the artist or tapping in just cause I like the video. Is it crazy to you though, that like a lot of those guys you just named. So like, let's start with 1323. He shot the, uh, the hot Cheetos and Takis video mm-hmm. that went crazy viral. Yep. Now, and now like, them kids are still around here, still yeah. in the industry. Mm-hmm. Rich is still out, you know, 1323, he's still out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, High Def was shooting for Chief Keef, Soulja Boy, like uh, uh, Ben Hughes was shooting for Soulja yep, Boy. Yeah, I like, forgot, uh, Ben Hughes too. It's I was crazy that, shit like, oh, I feel like we have some of the greatest videographers. No, like, yeah, we do. Even dog, like dog food. It's dog a lot, food, like, yeah. yeah. Dog food made his way out there in Chicago and shit. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot of videographers. Yeah, so it's that's got to that's got to be inspiring to you. Like it, it can really, <laughs> all those guys quit and went, <laughs> and went corporate pretty much for the most part, except for you know Minnesota Cole. But you know you got High Def; he's corporate now. Ben Hughes is essentially corporate, and she's shooting full length, full featured films now. Yeah, I can understand corporate because that's it's it's easy money. Yeah, and the thing about corporate videos, I think, uh, what's it? Ricky, Ricky, uh, the CEO, he told me, uh, what did he tell me? He Ricky told Co- me Ricky Collins. Yeah, Ricky Collins. He mm-hmm. told me, uh, corporate people don't got uh, like the attachment to money, for you sure. Know? So like, they got their budget and yep. what they gonna spend, and they know what they want, and yep. you got to deliver what they want. Like, music videos, people like 
it comes with a you know it's it attached to with, art which yeah, people are sensitive about. yeah they yeah. sensitive they want it they want it when they want it you got to deliver it when they want it you got to yeah. be on top of it you got to you got to keep getting better every day because like i said it's it's a lot of videographers that are just come take your spot if you're not for really sure. putting that pressure down for there. sure especially you know there's a there's a you know all the ones that we just named mm-hmm. are the ones that have that that longevity and notoriety but there's a lot of videographers that have been doing it for you know four or five years right alongside you mm-hmm. that all want that same money you want yeah you know what i'm saying that wh- whoever so so i'm i always ask this question do do you feel like it's tough to do your job because there's a lot of videographers here in minnesota and i, I i'm i can only speak on minnesota because i don't know other cities and states that fuck the game up by doing work for too cheap. I definitely feel like people fuck the game up when they do shit for too cheap. Like mm-hmm. I can't like I can't lie, but at the same time I know how I, I think that comes down to people either trying to get their name out there and understand that cuz when I first started, I was about to do free videos or I think I was about to do $50 videos or something when I first started, but Romar, he like Nigga, hell no, don't do no, you know, like, he like, you just spent all this money on your camera and all of this shit, why would you do 50, I'm like, I'm trying to get my name out there, he like, no, nah, as long as you just put something out, and he wasn't even shooting with me at the time, but he was still giving me that game, you hmm. know, so, it was like, why would I do that, that's, you know, that's kind of diminishing the value of everybody else type shit, because it's like, alright, not everybody saying, fuck, going to pay, stew up, or, any top videographer this money because so and so and then you know we like a state where you just you just need shit like you know like they don't they don't necessarily care about videos too much like they care about it but they don't value the videographer like I hear a lot of people talking about the cameraman and we don't need them and we could just do this you know we could do this we're the artists like, I mean you can you can like you can but if you want somebody that's gonna bring the best out of you or like that cared like you need like you need everybody from the engineer from you know the podcast you need everybody to get you we're in Minnesota so it's gonna be hard for everybody to make it out of here anyway. sure you know is we already at a disadvantage anyway so yeah we need everybody from the videographers to be all on the same page and I feel like any, you know, I feel like charge what you want, but I'm I'm still gonna stand on my prices. You know, like bro, I think videographers in Minnesota. I think y'all should have. Um, I always said we should have like a union or a some union. shit. That's like, exactly like, what that's, I was that's, looking that's, for. We all sit down and really talk. Like, all right, so this, you know, like we see how they, you know, they we see how they treat us, but it's like it's all the relationship things, and I feel like a lot of these dudes just. If they ain't build no relationship with you, or if you can't get them the cheap shit, that they just gonna go with who they want to go with type shit. Like I agree, but they know who they should go with for. Like I feel like certain videos, I feel like you should come to me. Yes, certain videos you might want to go with somebody else, you know. But I feel like me, I feel like I can hit every single type of video mm. that you looking for if you just tell me this what you looking for. But a lot of my videos be like on the fly you know like they call me like I might leave here right now you know I got my camera and shit in the car they might call me and be like oh I need a video tonight and mm. then it's just like all on the fly and me just picking it up as we go rather than actually having like a set video like I've I've rarely really uh directed like a whole video so you know ask, like yeah. I ain't really directed like how I really like that's other something than you, like my, that's something you want to do though. Other than like ta- Taylor, Taylor Brienne, I direct like that was like some that like we we put together. She came with a concept. It's a lot. It's a few little videos, but those are like one of the like the Daddy De Niro video. Those yeah. are one of the ones that we came with a little bit of a concept. But I still feel like right now, it's just kind of like on the fly. It's just like all right, come shoot this. Like, and I understand though, we ain't been to Minnesota. We don't have too much to offer, other than traveling. I def I do a lot of traveling with people too though. You travel with artists to shoot videos elsewhere. Yeah, that's what I do. So that's that's kind of dope, right? No, like that's, that's a major benefit to No, the, that's that's the job major to me cuz really like I just started traveling when I was like 21. So the first flight I went was with family, but the other all the other flights that I've been on it's been kind of like paid by artists, you yeah. know, and I appreciate that because it's like 
all right, they wanna they wanna fly me out to shoot their videos. That's you amazing. know, like that's what's up. You that's, know, like that, I mean, that's, you that's, know, like you putting you really, and I appreciate those dudes. And I ain't gonna stunt. There's been times where it didn't work out, and I ain't gonna stunt. Every trip ain't good. <laughs> I'm you, not get, you, ever, you ever got left behind? I never got. I'm shit. I <laughs> <laughs> I get back on myself. Yeah. Ain't no can't nobody leave me behind. But I it's been trips where it's just like, all right, this this you know, because you get out there for three days yeah. and you shooting maybe one video, but. You're on. You're basically on call. Like whenever they, you know, yep. like they don't get normal. Like when I pull up for a video shoot, you don't get me for three days and have me pull up when you're ready or be. All right, you just got done eating. Pull out your camera and get to shoot. You know, like or shoot this while we eating and shit like that. You know, like. But that's the expectation, or yeah. that's bent that you've had experiences uh, it, where not, it's like. Yeah, I had the experiences. You pull your camera out when we say so. Yeah, it's kind of it's yeah. it's it's kind of like that. And you kind of feel like that, but I understand it. But it'd be like all right, let's go out here and shoot and then let me get my time where I'm not shooting because if we we're at home, you wouldn't be able to, you know, to have me. And I, I feel like if you're, gonna tr- if you're gonna fly a videographer out with you to work with you and that's the type of service you're expecting, you gotta pay for that service. Yep. If you want me to be at your and beck me, and call, I don't, I don't, you gotta I don't, pay for that. I don't even add any expense. The only expense I have is that you take care of the flight and then we're good when we get there. I know you might have a hotel or whatever, and I don't really care about getting my own room or having my own space or none of that. I just want to make sure we good when we get there. I'm getting my money. So you're paying for your own boarding and food and everything? No, I pay for my own food and everything. I won't ask no, – like, I never ask nobody to pay for – you know, like, I pay for my own food and Shit. whatever, like, my own weed when I'm out in Cali you should, or whatever. Think, you know, like, I smoke – like, whatever. It don't matter. I do everything myself other than – just get me there and make sure I got somewhere to stay and I'm going to shoot your video how you want your video. Is shot. that a pride thing or is that common? Cuz I feel like if they're flying you out to do to work for them, they should be putting you up. It's, it's like this and though cuz it's like food. yeah, it's like some people I ain't going to stunt like Mick Villavar. It's, it's some people that like you deal with that just know like like you saying like that that what you should do. Like yeah. it's people like Mick that like when I flew out with him, he made sure that he gave me food and you know he paid for this yeah. and did this and made sure I had my own room. Little, sti- and little stipend, little spot to sleep. Yeah, yeah, you know, like he made sure everything was straight, but it's some people that, you know, I don't even expect that. So it's like I'm gonna pay for it regardless. Okay. You know, so it's So like, you're going already knowing like this is what you're paying for. Yeah, I know that because I didn't been on some sour trips. Yeah. <laughs> it's been some sour trips for sure. But then I suppose if you do it that way too, then you also aren't at their beck and call. Like, okay, you pay for my flight to get here, and I'm gonna shoot your video, but I'm going from Orlando to Miami for the day, so mm. don't expect me to just come running when you call me. Yeah, I'm busy, so you get to travel. I mean, that's dope. That's a benefit, right? Benefit of the job. A little yeah. little perk. No, that's that's one of the best benefits. I ain't gonna lie. Travel, just travel, getting to see, getting to see everything. Yeah. Um. So like what? Do you have artists that you like really want to shoot for? Like that you dream of shooting for? Who's your dream artist to shoot for? Uh probably just like Wayne or some mm. like real dream artist because I grew up on Wayne. Other than that, like to be honest, it was a dream to shoot for. Not like necessarily a dream, but I was listening to Ice Wear Vezo a lot before, you know. Yeah. I was actually shot a video for him, but then you know, once it came about, now I actually get to shoot a, you know, so yeah. now I'm actually shooting a video for him and then it came into like a built relationship even though I already had a relationship with, you know, Skay, Quay Quay, Rizzy, like all of them type shit. Yeah. But uh, once we built that relationship, it was like, all right, that's what's up. You know, like, but now it's like, I gotta do something better. You know, even still, like, I feel like, you know, that's not shit. Like, yeah, but, the, but you need that to happen yeah. to know that opened that, that opened my eyes line. like that showed me like as long as I keep putting myself and building those relationships and getting myself in the door in the right places, and it's really timing too. Being in the right place at for the sure. right time can get you to what you need. You know, like yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think yeah, I, yeah, hundred percent. How do you feel about uh, having guns pointed at, pointed at you? <laughs> Here's a video. I always gotta ask that question because that feels so crazy to me. Man. Uh. It be crazy. I ain't gonna say it be yeah. crazy. It be like sometimes it be like, man, you got a fucking Draco pointed at your fucking face For while you, sh- you know shooting a video. But it be like, 
I try to trust dudes, you know, like try yeah. to trust that you you know your gun safety if that's what you want. But do you make them unload it? Huh? You make them unload it in front of you? I don't even pay. I, this this what I hope. I just hope everybody that got their gun got a gun license. Mm. Cause I don't I don't I don't got nothing to say about like. And I try to stay away from guns in the video too, though. Like I don't really like I'm not gonna tell nobody to pull a gun out. Yeah. You know, it's usually like. If that's them, that's they some young dumb niggas, really. Like that's mm. that's what they on. If they showing guns in a video, still that's that's kind of on them. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, but I also get it. Yeah, I get it because it's you know like especially if you rapping about certain shit, you know it's 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 the imagery with that shit. Like you know like people like to see that shit. So that shit. Do you foresee that? Um, becoming less and less prominent in music videos because I definitely do with all the, the with all the Rico cases and the, I feel like people are gonna start being a little smarter. Hell yeah, they should be smarter. Gotta be with seeing that. I'm always like me myself, even with not even being in nothing. Like I always like you know be observing of that shit. Like I don't want no parts of none of that shit. Like yeah, it feel. I mean, and maybe it's the generation I'm from because I'm a little older, but it always feels crazy to me when you see. 23 dudes all standing in one room all pointing a pistol at the camera but like seven of them are pointing a pistol at the back of their friend's head because mm-hmm. you can't all be in front of next to each other you know what I mean? like it's like i don't get that <laughs> i can't make that doesn't make sense to me mm-hmm. but it is i mean i like i'm a fan of guns so i mean i get it i, I like you know well, yeah most of those dudes probably either man Get a gun license. Yeah, they they ain't never really faced no time then. That's what I think. If you like if you a dude that's just showing your gun in a video still right now, yeah. You probably ain't really faced no time. Hmm. Why do you say that? What's the equation? Because shit, most of the dudes I know that really like they not they not showing nothing. Yeah. They not like there ain't no reason like gotcha. you really like doing you know you're not showing you're not nothing. showing what you got yeah yeah you want people to think you don't have one yeah you're not even i agree with you you're not even trying to play like that no, i get what you're saying yeah even so whether i mean either you never faced any real time or you never faced any real adversity or you never really done any of the shit you say yeah and i'm not even i'm not even gonna say that because some dudes just be wild and they just don't you know honestly true. some dudes just don't give no fuck like they just like That's shit true. i go back to jail or i you know they ready for whatever consequence come with it, yeah. and they ready for fame or no fame. <laughs> um, wildest story, wildest video shoot story you can give me without incriminating yourself or anybody else. Man, the wildest video shoot. You ever had a video video shoot get shot up? Never. 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 No, I feel like that's a common story. <laughs> I don't know that. I feel like it is, but I I don't know. When I'm shooting videos, it's always safe location. We not letting nobody know. We not, you know, like if it's at a bad spot, like I try to shoot for everybody. That's one thing too. Like I'm not holding no favoritism. Hmm. I'm not tied to no set, no side of anything. You, you know, shoot like diss I'm, tracks? Huh? You shoot diss tracks? Uh, I have shot a diss track, but it's just like, I'm not a fan of diss tracks, but I will shoot it because I understand, like, it's part of hip-hop, too. Like, mm-hmm. diss tracks is part. Like, that shit got to, like, it got to happen For sometimes. Sure. Like, sometimes we need that, like. I agree. It's one of the best parts of hip-hop to me. Yeah, for As real. long as it's music. I yeah. just, I don't want it to leak out of the music and become yeah, some Yeah, but if it's, if it's, like, if they getting real disrespectful, probably to somebody that I am maybe know or, yeah. Yeah. like, it probably like I probably won't, but then I probably still, you know, I might still would just because it's they coming to me and they want it. Like I didn't have people diss people on a song that I shot, and then now that person shoot. You know, like yeah, I didn't had that before, like yep. back and forth before. So what you're saying is, if somebody comes to you, you shoot the tr- the diss track. The d- track. What if that person that they diss comes to you like, hey? You shot the one for them. Now you need to come shoot for me. Now you do that too. I would. Yeah. That's yeah. that's keeping only, it. You know that's fair, keeping right? it fair. Like yeah, if, it's only fair. As long as y'all dissing y'all in the music, whatever y'all do in the streets or outside of that, that's on y'all. Yeah. Me, this is business. I'm shooting a video, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. You ready? Minnesota Minnesota videographer Mount Rushmore Hold on. 
<laughs> Mount Rushmore. Yep. I don't know. No, that's <laughs> I don't accept that answer. <laughs> take another drink. Uh, he Number four. Take best four. Drink. Best four. Uh best four right now or just nope, like no all time. All time yep. in Minnesota. Mount Rushmore, the greatest. The greatest. Man, what do we consider great though? Uh I think I would inc- include accolades, accomplishments, longevity. Um, talent. I think those are the four major, four major keys. Uh, we're gonna have to go with uh Minnesota Code. Okay. Uh, high def. Yep. I feel like dog food. And I go with Gouda. Okay, Gouda Elite. I'm not yeah. mad at that. We need to get him. We need to get him up. Him up here too. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not I'd mad at that for that, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna really fuck you up. Rapper Mount Rushmore. Rapper Mount Rushmore. Shit. Uh. Rizzy. Okay. Damn. I ain't gonna start that's Yeah, <laughs> I know what <laughs> Man, that's tough. We're gonna go with Rizzy, 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 Rizzy. Four, four Rizzies? Four Rizzies? Four Rizzies. I never got the chance to meet <laughs> I never got the chance to meet Rizzy, man. Man. If only people I ain't gonna start if only people really got to hear like what he really could do type shit. Yeah. Like, he got he got some shit out, but people didn't really know his talent for real. Yeah, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you skate with that one. Yeah, just to, you just tried. To, you tried to get just me, off but the strength of him. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody go hard. Though. I'm not gonna lie. Who's, your, who's some of your favorites right now? Just listen. Just list me a couple of your current favorites. Who you listen to? Who I listen to around the city? I fuck with Ty Sticks. Mm. I fuck with Quay Quay. I fuck with. Uh, I fuck with Prince Riley. Mm-hmm. Listen, to him. Uh, Plaza. Shit, uh, who are I to around the city? Uh, Lil Sav, Sav go hard. I fuck with Lil Sav. Not familiar. He knew he 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 just coming out, but uh, Haji KJ. Mm. I fuck with. I ain't gonna stop. I fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I fuck with a lot of people music that they probably wouldn't even. No, I mean, all I the fuck. people I fuck with, all the people you just yeah, named. like without them knowing Mick Bullet, like I really listen to Mick music. Like I really ride to his music some days. Like it's a lot of people. Like I ain't gonna. Lie. I've just fucked with a lot of music. I'm like, if it's good, I'm gonna listen to it. You mm-hmm. might not even be like. Uh, I even fucked with. Uh, <laughs> I thought you was gonna ask me about this. The fucking bird. Uh, four bird nine five. Fire, bird nine five. Yeah, bird. <laughs> you got mixed up in that? He man, he put me in there. <laughs> he put me in one of those. Bro, he mentioned so many. <laughs> and he did two of them. Yeah, he did two of them. I was in the second one. I thought you was gonna ask me about. Well, that. now you now you brought it up. The cameras are still rolling, <laughs> so now you brought it up. No, nah, yeah, that. What was, did you? I mean, there was a lot going on. There was a lot of diss tracks flying around. Yeah, I think he was just trying to, you know, get himself out there type yeah. shit. And then shit, I took it as funny, but it was funny. Yeah, it's just I think it's all jokes because he he don't know me like that. So yeah, he didn't know me at all. Yeah, it's just like he mentioned me in the first one. Yeah. He, he told me he was going to do it, though. I don't know. He just messaged me randomly like, hey, I'm about to dish you in this song. It's Here's how I look at though. it. Here's how I look at it. If you got a message from him before he dropped it, he fucks with you and he was joking. If you mm-hmm. didn't get a message before he dropped it, yeah, it he was, meant that shit. Yeah, I ain't going to stunt. It was a lot of shit that he <laughs> – yeah. it was some shit that was very factual and that he was trying to get off on, I feel like. <laughs> but he not going to run up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I love it. Okay, um, out of everything I'm taking away from this interview, what I'm gonna say is, for you to only be four years in, you got a bright future. I didn't realize you were only four years in. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, you got a bright future, and also I'm gonna put the return of Daddy De Niro squarely on your shoulders. Shit, it's on you. 
the return of him rapping or yes. getting him up here? Up here too. Him up I'll here. tell you what. You get him up here, I'll let, I'll let the music go. <laughs> if you can't get him up here, then we need music. I'm going to get him up here. I'll take, I'll I'll try and get him to do music. If, you, if I can but get him I in that chair, I'll try and convince him. Y'all trying to get him, though. I know uh, yeah. <laughs> y'all got some questions for him. Oh, for sure. I definitely <laughs> do. And, yeah, and I have, yeah, for sure. I definitely got a lot of questions. A lot. He knows that. That's probably why he doesn't want to come do it. Yeah, we're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'll do a live on the booth. De Niro said that? Oh, Plaza. Oh, no, De Niro. Plaza's never coming here. Might be able to talk Plaza into it. Too. <laughs> I, you know how many times I heard that? Man. Plaza will not come sit at that chair across from me. He thinks I don't like him or I'm going to be mean or say foul shit to him. I'm not. I fuck with Plaza. Love his music. Think he's incredibly talented. He probably, honestly, Plaza just probably don't want to get messy. Yeah. He and knows that. that and, and he, they know that it's going to be a lot of shit that want to get answered. Admittedly, in my eight year career as a journalist, podcast host, whatever you want to call it. I have said some things about him publicly uh-huh. and been a little messy about him. Shit. And he knows that. And we've had conversations, but I'm not interested in it anymore. You said you're I, not interested. I'm not interested in, in I'm in, not going to, I'm, I'm, I don't uh-huh. want to be an asshole or talk shit to him. Like I fuck with Plaza. I like Plaza. I'm a fan of his music. No, me too. I'm a fan of him, his music. I don't know him personally, but. He's been telling me for a long time he's going to come do an interview and he hasn't done it. So he's on my bucket list. And I, honest to God, and I'm not, I'm not bullshitting. I'll say this for the camera. I do not believe that I will ever have an opportunity to interview Jay Plaza. <laughs> I really don't. I don't no I matter what people say to me. I don't know. You must have said some crazy shit. I don't think I ever say anything too crazy, but he's an artist and he's sensitive about his shit. And I understand that. But I don't mean no harm. I don't feel it. I've meant some harm. <laughs> so I won't lie. In the past, I definitely have. I've grown, but I've grown. 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 All right, Nazi. Hey. Yeah. All right, man. Well, let's wrap. I'm glad we could do this. This was fun. All right. Hey, when is when this video? Two weeks. All right. Let me shout out this show then. Let me tell everybody come out to this show. Yeah. Do it. All right. Uh, we got the Icewear Vezo show on June 16th. Everybody come out. It's going to be a blast. All right, let me do that over. That was <laughs> <laughs> This is all. This ain't getting edited. So just do it again. No, y'all got to edit it. Again. <laughs> Don't do me this like that. This so stays. Gonna this is going to be the best part. <laughs> so June 16th. No, where's we, June 16th is Rizzy's birthday. We got a Icewear Vezo coming in town. We got all types of opening acts. We got Quay Quay on stage. It's about to be lit. Who else performing? Anybody else locally? Uh, we, got, you know we got NLE Skeet. We got Tay Supreme. Mm. We got Foreign. Uh, and then there's a few more, few more special guests. Marvelous? And then, who? Marvelous. We might. We gonna see. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't. Okay. I ain't heard about that unless okay. you know some intel that I don't know. I'm just. I don't know. No, we putting. It's gonna be a show though. Okay. And Vez bringing some people. Too. Where's it at? You said. It's at First Ave. First Ave. Yep. The main room. The main of room. Of course, main room. Never the mind. main room. Big stage. I swear, Bezo at Seventh <laughs> Street will be. <laughs> man, no, we going main room, big stage. <laughs> that would be crazy. Oh. oh man! All right. Well, maybe we can get Icewear up here too. We're gonna see. That would be great. That would <laughs> be great. All right, man. I appreciate your time. I Tell them where to find you. Uh, Stuart Visuals, at every platform, Cash App. <laughs> oh, <he's> like, <laughs> yo. Cash App, PayPal, however y'all want to hit me. Is, <laughs> Just hit me. That's on fire. There. I'm stealing that from you. I'm stealing that from you. Oh, I'm stealing that. All right. Uh, that's it, man. I appreciate right. your time. Right. Appreciate Another episode of Minnesota's number one daily show live on Lake Street. Cash at me everywhere at Jake Faircloth. <laughs> 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 now nah, follow me everywhere at Jake Faircloth one. And uh, yeah, man, that's it. We right. out. Appreciate you. It ain't that I can't stop. It's that I won't stop. I made a few plays off a of flip. Now I'm on top. I'm Southside Chief, homie. Yeah. What you know about it? Lake Street legend CEO, not the co-founder. What you wanna know about me? I'm so churched up. I'm the last man standing, but I went first up. Most hated, they don't say it when I roll up. The things that people say about me, they don't say close up. 
Check it. I ain't been to the booth in a minute. Check. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning. Yo. Who makes him the chief for the south side? Oh, my nigga, I'm not a lieutenant. When I was in the gym, you wasn't in it. I'm Face time, so my windows is tinted. Yeah. If I said that shit, then I meant it. Niggas gave me the rules and I banked it. Fact. Same, same nigga that was trapping while I was suspended. Ooh. You wasn't in them hallways banging, boy, you wasn't in it. Ooh. Really a genuine nigga, homie, don't get offended. From East Lake, South Murder. I'm just it ain't that I can't stop. It's that I won't stop. It ain't that I can't stop. It's that I won't say it ain't that I can't stop. It's that I won't stop. I made a few plays off a of flip. Now I'm on top. I'm Southside Chief, homie. What you know about it? Southside Chief, homie. Now what you know? Look, I'm Southside Chief, homie. What you know about it? Lake Street Legend CEO, not the co-founder. What you wanna know about me?